The 2022 Bassmaster Classic is about to kick off on Lake Hartwell. This is the fourth time that they have been to Lake Hartwell in recent history, and the second time they have been there in March. Today, we're going to go over my predictions on the winning weight, top baits, and the anglers that you should look out for. In late February 2008, Alton Jones won with 48 pounds, 7 ounces. In 2015, Casey Ashley won with 50 pounds, 1 ounce roughly around the same time that Alton Jones won his. In March, from the 16th to the 18th, Jordan Lee won with 47 pounds, one ounce. So my prediction is it's going to take about 48 pounds, six ounces to claim it, and a daily weight of 16 pounds. Now let's move on to the baits. Number three. My list of important baits is a deep diving jerk bait, like the Jackal SDD-79. The blue back are going to be moving from the backs of pockets out towards the main lake. The pre-spawn is slowly moving towards that later pre-spawn stage when the bass are getting set up to spawn. I think there's going to be a lot of fish caught in transition. Number two, very big mop football jig, just like this dirty jigs football jig. Something like this to work the tree lines and underneath the docks for those staging fish. Number one, my number one bait that will probably win the 2022 Bassmaster Classic is going to be a stickworm. I believe it's going to be rigged like a Nico rig style with a nail weight in one end. Jordan Lee used this in 2018 to clinch his Bassmaster victory, and it was about the same time of year. I think it's a little bit earlier, and they're going to probably catch a wave of fish moving up to the beds. Look out for the stickworm to be the winning bait. Now let's move on to the anglers. There are three anglers that I think you need to watch out for at this year's Classic. Number three. My number three angler to look out for is Patrick Walters, a South Carolina-born angler. He's had extreme success on blueback herring lakes. If the fish stay deep, he's a very big threat with his ability to use his electronics. Number two. Number two on my list is Brandon Cobb. Again, we're going back to the South Carolina anglers. They have a history on these styles of lakes. He's done well there in the past. I wouldn't be surprised to see if he held the trophy at the end of the event. Number one. My number one angler is a little bit of a dark horse here. He's had success there, and if they really push shallow, it, would be, it wouldn't be a shock if he wins. I'm going with the dark horse of John Cox. There's a precedence. He's done this before on blueback herring lakes. When they push shallow, he was able to get his boat into a little honey hole in the last day of an FLW event to clinch the victory. Guys, let me know in the comments section below, what do you think the winning weight's going to be? What do you think the angler's going to be? And what do you think the winning bait is? We're going to find out this weekend.